choose to go on Mission Space. Let's go. As we enter the International Space Training Center, we pass a moon with uh, different markers for each moon mission. And we are about to begin our flight training simulation. Let's do it. As we enter, there's the gravity wheel and all its, well, not, I wouldn't say former glory, but some of it. There's the replica of the moon rover. Now it's getting ready for our briefing. And that's time to blast off. We strongly encourage you to select green team less intense training or proceed to the advanced training lab, which offers alternative space training activities for all astronaut candidates. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, the exploration of deep space. I know you're probably feeling a little bit nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another, even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing that they have that you don't have. Training. Right now, at NASA and ISTC facilities around the world, Future astronauts are learning how to live and work in space. But you're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Deep Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang up. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. And the success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes I'll give all of you specific assignments. But first our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your Orange Team More Intense Training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight trainers that produce deep space flying conditions such as turbulence and G-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense. And if you would like to opt out, you can sign up for mission control training in the advanced training lab. Just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Congratulations, team. You've been selected to train for an elite mission, the first mission to Mars. Robotic teams have already established your landing site here at the North Polar Cap. Your mission is to get to that site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot assist, your trip will take three months, so we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. T minus three minutes and counting. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket and also deploy the shields. Commander, you'll be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you'll activate hypersleep. You'll also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they'll light up. Then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks in every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for the new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew positions in the cockpit. And stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. 
Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest, keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Navigator, welcome aboard. Now remember, during a mission, you'll be initiating lunar orbit. Loading flight plan. Loading flight plan. Pilot, the X-2 is an excellent ship. All you have to do is fire the second stage and deploy the key. Surgeon, how are we doing? Instrument panel closing. If needed, space sickness bags are located Engineer. on the instrument panel. Just a reminder, you'll activate hypersleep and extend the wing.
website. Welcome to Mars, and welcome to the astronaut corps. Here we are inside the advanced training lab, and I actually had my mission roster appear right here. I've never had that show up before, so that's kind of cool. Apparently, I'd be a Mars-based station expansion construction person, so interesting.